Good morning, it's day 13, and that is looking super tasty. Mm -mm. We have breakfast. This is our zero slash resupply day. We kind of got it generally figured out in terms of the resupply. First thing we're going to do, we're going to eat. Then we're going to um, figure out our resupply needs. Then we're going to go into town, uh, get a resupply around 10, come back. Um, get that organized and then we're going to figure out exactly what we're going to be doing so uh, in terms of the trip so we'll figure that out in a little bit I, I wonder what this looks like hey good morning hopefully that's on our faces <laughs> I doubt so breakfast is served and I'm telling you that's pretty good we have three eggs each and we have a complete package of bacon so we've already eaten some of it and I found out of the hiker box, I got this whey protein stuff. So I thought, I'm just gonna put some of that in here. So I did, it actually tastes really good. Yeah. It's not bad. And so I don't know if, maybe tomorrow morning we'll, I'll have the rest. Extra nine grams. The whole thing is 18 grams um, per, oh, per packet. Oh, yeah. So yeah, per packet. So I got about nine, that's cool. Yeah, oh, that's, that's good. Ooh -wee. We're heading into town, gonna hitch a ride here. 940? 940, man, it's gorgeous. Really opened up, look at that. Ooh -wee. <laughs> well, these are the cabins, by the way. Our cabin's the one on the end with all the electronics. All right, so the good news about today is it's not raining, it's sunny. Um, I'm kind of figuring out that... The, the, they can pull in, oh yeah, so, I don't know. This is really humiliating, humbling, everything at once. You get rejected a lot. You know? This is, this is, uh, this is what we go through, all right? And so that's just happening, because that's everybody else, right? Yeah. yeah so. Notice how mine looks small. Yeah, this is all mine. Yeah, I know. So, you have the Fritos over there, so. I do have the Fritos, so we basically go through and just, out stuff. We have a, li a, ch a list and we kind of make it work. The problem is they got some of these super big ones and they're like one and a half. It counts. One and a half makes our math really hard. Yeah, we got some got some goo things here. Pro meal bars are super good. Builder's bars, I like those. But we got some new ones we haven't had before. So that's actually pretty cool. Right. Uh, they're a little weak on the tuna chicken stuff, so we have to experiment with that. Um, we're gonna go through a couple doors this time instead of regular backpack meals, and we're each gonna have a couple top ramen. So those are pretty solid. So we're not super excited about all these meals here. We're not experienced with those. We I like the adventure meals kind of thing, but I don't know that right there. So if you can see, they have just about about everything we need in here. We got little tiny ponchos too. We can put over our packs. Um, anyway, how's it going, G? I'm pretty good right now. Can they give us free coffee? I'm feeling pretty good. Because we're hikers. I'm wired on lots of coffee. Yeah, we got a lot of coffee. And even have uh, even have old uh, yeah old John Ed Roberts right here. That's an old John in the background. Yeah. We're, ch we're chilling. Good pretty cool, huh? So that was a, that was pretty good because we got how, what was the discount? Twenty percent. No, it's 10%. 10 percent. 10 percent hiker discount, which saved us like 20 bucks, 20 bucks yeah. which is awesome. So obviously the weather is uh, look, it looked a lot different today than it did yesterday. How about that? Yeah, is that is that the mountain right there, G? Uh, up we have the top there. That's where we hiked yesterday. Can you, you know what? There? I think that's like the false summit. The, I think right behind it. Behind be. it is the big one. Yeah. So we were like. I think it's uh, that is where we were that one. Yeah, it's not right, not right in front of us. Yeah, because it was more open in front. Yeah. So, anyways, this is a cool little place. So we're just gonna kind of check it out, be tourists. So tomorrow we're gonna start on the other, other side of the lake, which is over here, and then we're gonna go up to uh, Hope Pass. So we're told that that's Hope Peak. So you can't no mountain. And you can't see it right here, but there is a natural, really clear saddle. We, we could see that yesterday. 
Um, and so that's, how high is that? It's like 14, not 14, no, it's 12,400 12, or something. 12, four. so that's. It's a, it's like a 3,000 foot, foot climb. Yes, yeah, so we have, we need to do this. We need to a, be over it just about now. One. Yeah, it's a hard yeah. one. But people trail run over it. So look at it that way. No, so. trail hike, but yeah. Isn't that just, this is not just that's spectacular. Sure we be over it like yeah, we want to be over like now, tomorrow. Oh. Okay, he brought it outside for us. That's our. That's our receipt. That's our receipt. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like a waste of paper, even that's almost. Like a, that's yeah. Like a waste that's of paper, paper doing that. Wow! 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 That's crazy, man. Thank you. Thank you. I feel really. Gabrielle just. Starts get... one mile on each side of the pass. Yeah. One of the view. Probably. Gabrielle's checking out the pass tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna check out the pass tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna check 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 the pass tomorrow. Yeah, I hate sumac. I've never actually seen sumac. Sorry. Basically, I'm not going to touch anything yeah, anyway. They're saying it's not harmful sumac, it's something else. It's, and they said, like, don't eat the berries. Don't, don't eat or break the plants. The yeah. wounded plant juice will cause itchy wounds. Whew. Sounds horrible. Anyways, so hey, we got a we got a uh, a hitch in here from a contractor doing some work on a on a project that never ends, which he's pretty excited about. And so that was super nice. Took us a while though. So, and then now I got a truck right here. These two gals are, uh, they're going to work. This one of them is in, I don't know, probably Leadville or something like that. So we just chuck my bag in the back right there and uh, they're gonna drop us off. So we got, we're all set. And oh, and I made dinner reservations for five to 5.30. This place is so cool. Just call, I leave your name and number and stuff. And if there's a problem, then they will call you. So we're all set. And these two other hikers we were talking to, um, they, they were actually staying at that place. That's a lodge also. And they got their dinner reservations at five. So we're gonna know some people there as well. So they said they vouched for us if there's a problem. So we're all set. I'm going through the process right now. I just basically dumped all my stuff out. Gabrielle's, uh, which is what I'll be doing each day. She's kind of laying it all out. So we spent about 190 bucks between the two of us. Well, that was before the discount. No, that was, that was after, after the, the discount. discount. They get a hiker discount. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Things that are a little unusual. We got, he's got this emergency poncho. Hopefully that works, at least for a couple days. Extra coffee, did that, uh, stuff like that. This is kind of new, he's had these, you know, Peanut butter inside, that's gonna be a nice little little addition, yeah. And of course I love my little spam right here. I'm not too sure about this kind of stuff, but hopefully I feel really good about it. Yeah, I just have, I just have two of a them. And then those. I'll have two cheeses then. Yeah, we got some instead. cheese. Oh, actually, I put all my cheeses back. Oh. I guess I did, yeah, I did. I, and instead of that, it's not telling me what the, I got the pretzels. Uh, what the calorie or protein content is. Those are called, that's called mystery cheese. Because it comes in a giant package. Yeah, but, he knows but what yeah, that but is. I'll, so instead of the chicken, yeah. I'll have two cheeses. Yeah, or, yeah. So, anyway, so we'll give you the full breakdown once we get it all set. Gabriel's sporting uh, our new poncho. I'm trying, even just like trying to open it without yeah. putting a hole in it. Yeah, we gotta, gotta get that over our pack. Well, the, the idea is for me is to get over my pack. I don't know. Do you have I don't know if I can get this over my pack. Yeah, oh. see if that gonna work. Here you go. Yeah. I think so. Definitely covers my shorts. Yeah, what I needed to make sure is my shorts are covered and then my pack. Cause I, I don't, usually my shorts get wet. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I already put a hole in it. Oh, you ruined it. For my watch. Maybe there's uh, we get a refund for that. So here I got my stuff. Gabriel's got hers laid out all nice and neat. And let me kind of explain to you. So I have, this is like breakfast right here. Those, boom. And this is when we're kind of hiking in the morning. I'll do something like that, intermediate. And then pure lunch. Interesting lunches, huh? Huh? Mm -mm lunch lunch and then afternoon hike i figure tomorrow's gonna be the lightest actually so i got some cheese got my fatty beef stick clip bar I'll just like double to king size oh, i'm enjoying this a lot in here and then for dinners i think the king size is actually gonna work out good because usually i'm pretty hungry 
And so we got our dinners, dinner, dinner. Oh, two top ramens. I'm probably going to switch those. I don't like to have the same thing. That's it's easy to get like sick and tired of stuff. And then actually I have pretzels and Fritos. So that's, and those will be kind of spread out all over, but especially with the lunches. So I have a lot of food, but I probably more than I usually do, but I'm starting to get pretty hungry. So, and if I have extra, that's going to be, that's going to be okay too. So, so you see we got, we got stuff laid out all over. So um, pro hopefully, before dinner, but for sure before bedtime, we're gonna be completely packed up. Yeah. And we gotta figure out how to actually get to the trailhead tomorrow if we're probably gonna have to walk it. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm doing something different with the electrolytes. These are like tablets and there's like 10 in here. So that gives me two a day. Um, I really like the electrolytes, not only just because it gives me something other than water and you don't, literally, you don't pee as much with bees, which is great. I also have some salt that I've got, but it's full of minerals, the salt, it's not just table salt. And I actually add that to my water and to, for sure, my dinners. So I got plenty of salt coming out. This is how I have it organized here. This is, this is like my tomorrow's uh, breakfast and lunch is all right here. So that way it's easily accessible. I can actually put this at the very bottom of my pack and pull from it. Throughout the day, these are some just general snacks here. I got some Fritos, and those are the pretzels with the peanut butter. Those are gonna be good. So, um, and then these are all the remaining day, days of breakfast. Breakfast and like, you know, pre-breakfast, hike breakfast, <clears throat> that kind of thing. This is all the lunch, including uh, another extra bar for hiking in the afternoon. And then this is all of the dinners, and which includes you know, like a ramen and then a bar or something like that. So all that stuff condensed down into this. Oh, you'll notice um, the Norris, I put in a plastic bag. I took them out. Uh, that actually allows us to really compact the food. The packaging is great for marketing. It's not great for packing though. So I'm actually really pretty stoked about that. Oh, I have extra coffee here too. So I'm gonna bring that bring that as well. Don't want to forget the wet ones. Mm -mm, I could end end poorly. This is a different way of looking at it. Gabrielle has has some cheese cheese sticks in the refrigerator, but that's her five days of food. Everything's right there. That's called an opsac. Uh, it's a smell proof bag. Animals cannot smell through that, and it actually works really that's good. Works really well. That's so, pretty good. That so looks like this, more than what I have. On this won't go in. So. There you go. Yeah. Pretty good, G. <clears throat> so Gabrielle's doing our Instagram post. He's a social media <clears throat> consultant. Fried trap. Uh, we're not posting all our trip stuff until we get back and then she starts putting everything together. <clears throat> it's a huge job, so it's a lot quicker. There's just a lot of writing and that takes me a while. It does. It takes I'm me. not a great writer, so it just really? takes me a while. I know you got a block, you're famous. I have the famous sand, <laughs> shape, and form. Yes. So we're getting, we're getting close. We're trying to figure out our days right here. Gabrielle's just doing the map genius. We've had, uh, we've had the Gaia map and the Far Out app. Trying to figure out um, what's going on. Friday seems to be the sketchiest day. There's like kind of multiple passes, but two main passes. And so we were looking to see if there are kind of treed areas in between the passes. So we don't get stuck between the two. Yeah. Because it's the 17 miles before uh, we get to trees for sure. Good camp. Seven, we can't do 17 miles before noon. That's just not going to happen. And like it's possible at nine o'clock too. Yeah. Friday is, is potentially the worst. I don't know if it's the worst weather, but it's the rainiest. Like it looks like the consistency mm -hmm. of it. So, it so that's what we're trying like, to work out. Like, you know, you said the lines are really close. Yeah. But it does look like there are She's really good at this. Are trees around? Yeah. On that section right here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So we could run and out. And that's into the in trees. between because there's the pass there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's basically a pass. Yeah. Really. It's kind of stupid. Yeah. So a lot going on. And it looks like there's trees right here. Oh, that's our nice. Those are yeah. And that's 
That's what this is, that this ridge thing. Okay, because you can kind of see there's like trees. 37.6. We're skirting it. All right, just give a little, just so you kind of know what we're dealing with right now. Um, I, we think it's doable. Friday's the big day though. Um, and the last day coming in is only like seven miles. So e even if we're a day late, that would be like a, you know, okay, a 20 mile day at the anything. end and we could do that. So I think we're gonna be okay. All right, well, we're gonna try hitch yet again into town for some dinner. Have we gotten a hitch right? Is it a fourth time? Right on fourth time. It's, it's stressful every time, though. There's a lot of traffic, though. And she's got her, her, you know, super glasses on, so I think that's going to help a lot. We'll, we'll see. Uh, the cloud situation's pretty gnarly, but it has not rained. So we're happy about that. Look at that. This is swirling vortex of terror. Vortex of terror, right, Oh, that's a oh, this is Mike. He just picked us up. We had about seven rejections, and uh, we, we didn't even know you came by. All of a sudden, we said, hey, he's, he's slowing down. <laughs> so it was pretty good. The guy rolls in the back there. With the, where's, the, where's, the, where's the puppy? Oh, right there. He, he, he's pretty chill dog. Uh, it's Bunny. 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 Awesome. So it looks like we're, we're going to make the dinner reservation. All right. So we got a place. The bar is full, so we had to sit at the table. Yeah. Get that, there's nobody here, but the bar is full. <laughs> oh, yeah, super nice. What? So you can notice how crooked the table is based off of the level of water in the martini. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell the table's not level? I think it's not the table, I think the... It's the floor. It's, it's the floor. Yeah, part of the floor. Since it was 1879. So we had, it was fantastic dinner. Um, and it, they, didn't, they didn't rip us off. Super good martini, that Woods Mar Woods Gin. It's from Salida, so I'm going to have some of that hopefully in five days. Uh, we've been unsuccessful for about 10 cars. So here, we're, we're going to try it again here. Hold on. Hands, hands out. I like it when your out, Dad. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. It's way easier to get in than it is to get out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. And we have like these little tiny mosquitoes. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's there. weird. We've seen a lot of cars. or well, there's not a whole lot of cars. It's 638. No cars. And the mosquitoes, there's, mosquitoes. There's like these little tiny things. They're just like going after our legs. It's super irritating. And they go, they go with like through our, through our like, you know, socks and stuff. Huh. Enjoy Hope somebody will pick us up here. It's been way too long. It's not raining, so that's really good. But it's, you know, yeah. it's raining around us over there. Yeah. It's gorgeous, though, isn't it? Isn't it cool? I mean, think of it, really. I mean, it's just like, I mean, it's just... It's great when you're safe. <laughs> it's, it's great when you're, like, in your house, when you're tent. And that one just got me. Stinker. You're below tree line. You feel great. Yeah. Great dinner, super good service. Uh, we're meeting a number of people that are going to go west, which yeah, is we are. Everybody. So yeah, about everybody. So maybe they know something we don't know, or maybe they're just like just as crazy as we are. I don't know, but it feels like uh, the JMT when we were coming up to the bridge and we weren't really knowing what was going on. But, but hey, it's day thirteen. Good night. The lights are kind of bright. There yeah, we go. Oh, what Isn't that cool? Well, that is. We turned the kitchen lights toward us because it was so dark we, in here. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, okay, I did. But we, we mean Craig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's evening of day uh, 13. Uh, here's our stats. Okay, G. I only have 4,690. I have 4,782 steps. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's... Uh, that's, that's, I, I, that, I haven't gotten below 10. That, that doesn't even happen at home. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah. Oh, it, it only happens on like the day after I do something. And then I just, just don't do, do nothing. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen with me. Okay, and the uh, calories. Calories are be really sad. Calories. <laughs> what? What, you have 1,500 or something? I'm like 1,800. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
I got 2,300 or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. half of what, almost that's, half of what. That's ridiculous. Get, yeah, so. that's crazy. All right. So, uh, so today was a town day. It was an awesome day. Mm -hmm. um, I think you saw, you saw all the videos. We went to town a couple times, right? First time to resupply. Yeah. We got that done. The, the super, we got our hiker discount, which is always kind of cool. Yeah. When they do that kind of stuff. They had, they had everything except um, meat sticks, really. And I, I really wanted to see if I could get like breakfast essentials. Oh, like protein powder. You know what we, like we, we're There's talking about? That. That. Remember those carnation instant breakfasts? Yeah. That's what we were looking for because we want to be able to eat breakfast like on the trail. And we could just pour out of that thing in our water bottle, shake, shake it, it up, up and, and drink, drink it, it on the trail. Um, yeah. And that would, yeah, we, I used to actually do that when we were backpack and that was yeah, our breakfast. Yeah, we had powdered milk and mm -hmm. that. And we had it and it was super good. So. Man, we could add some you know uh, starbucks coffee to that yeah, <laughs> you ready perfect. to rock and roll man i do want to try to do that on the trail later so yeah i can see. slide them maybe we and can slide uh, like have a real grocery store or like a, uh, they has gotta be at like walmart yeah uh, that's so. a pretty good sized place so so we did that um and then we we after we did that we came back because yeah. we got oh uh, we did get like um grilled cheese a grilled cheese sandwich which um, was really just grilled cheese on some white bread it wasn't anything really mm -hmm. exotic yeah but it, it was really tasty though cheese. yeah because we weren't super hungry no so we had a lot for breakfast because we had three eggs each and we cooked an entire thing of bacon. so we had like a half of a half of you know probably, thing of bacon each yeah we probably had at least five pieces of bacon it was pretty good like half so, a pig and a lot of coffee and a lot of coffee so that was great. Yeah, my stomach felt a little like, oh, what you do? To me? What do you do? But yeah, like I got over it though. I feel great now. Yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, we got back. Well, we got hitches. Pretty good hitches. That was really, really great. People pick us up. We were. I was pretty excited about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It Everybody has a take, story. Uh, like it doesn't. It didn't take super long mm -hmm. to get hitches into town. Right. But getting out of town seemed mm -hmm. to be a lot harder. It took a lot longer. Yeah. So. I think people had, they were done for the day and they had places to go. Yeah, or other people were going to work. But even in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy was going into work with her daughter. Yeah. To go. Yeah, it just took longer. Anyways. Yeah. anyways. Yeah. So. so we got came back and then um, the, the big deal there was um, after we kind of packed stuff up, got our food organized, which is, that's kind of a lot of, that's fun doing that. That's not so bad. Yeah. Um, especially when it works out. Yeah, we didn't have extra, which is probably one of the, one of the first times we've got a lot of resupply uh, and we didn't have yeah. any extra. That was really good. Yeah. Especially it was so disorganized and everything because they had those king size bars and everything. So it's just like, ah. So I bet I, bet yeah. I have a little bit extra because of that, but I'm, I might. I hope, I yeah. I, it, yeah, so. we're, 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 we, we need it in case we need an extra day or something, you know, something like that happens. Um, so then we spent some time, you know, figuring out the actual route and yeah. that was, um, really helpful for both of us to do that. Yeah. You feel a lot better. You feel a lot better about it, don't you? Well, yeah, just cause I mean, usually it's just me figuring uh -huh. out like along the maps. Okay. Where, where's good places to camp yeah. where yeah. like, uh, how many like high points or like big climbs do we have for the day? Yeah. Like prepping that kind of stuff. And that usually all falls on me Yeah, yep. and with the incoming bad weather it just it felt extremely overwhelming mm -hmm. and then i just fell apart it, basically well it was just no it was just a lot of pressure <laughs> like if i get this wrong we're gonna be stuck above tree line right and you don't want that and thunder on and it just yeah it felt yeah. like mm -hmm. a lot and yesterday it felt like like is this like is this just stupid to even try yep. to do this yeah we felt like that for sure um so after going through it it's really un the unfortunate thing is that the day where the trail has us above the tree line the most is of course the day that is slated to have the most rain most and possible rain. thunderstorms yeah so, so we have like potential yeah like okay at this point on trail there should be some tree cover and at this yeah, point on trail there should be some tree cover yeah so we spent some time trying to figure out okay let's say we need to get off for a little bit you know is there a way to do it where yeah. do we do it so what contingency plans we we spent some time doing that yeah. so i felt really good about that because there was one stretch between two passes yeah. 
that are like in the afternoon, right? Yeah. So it's like, well, normally it thunders then, so yeah. without rain coming, kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, so we, I, I feel way better yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh. So, but yeah, so that that was really good. Mm -hmm. And then, just in general, like, because obviously we were in town for a couple of times, mm -hmm. and every hiker that we talked to mm -hmm. was doing the west. So yeah. then it was like, okay, now I don't feel stupid. Yeah. Uh, like we're gonna be the like, only ones out there. Are we all stupid? Yeah, because at first I thought it was, it was going to be like, man, we're going to be alone out there. Yeah. That's like, what it really like, felt like. Yeah, like everybody's going to do the east. And we're going to be out there by ourselves. And, mm. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. that means we'll see people. Yeah. We will see a few people. I'm sure we will because we met some at the very at tonight. They were actually they were actually charging. I think they got some resupply. Yeah. And then they're going to start like they're this start, evening. Yeah, this evening. That's yeah. hardcore. Well, they might just camp. Like part way along the lake because yeah. there's a bunch of place good good places to yeah. camp along the lake. Yeah. So you can save a bunch of money doing that too. A bunch of money. So, so yeah, we, we saw I saw a couple. We think we uh, see T hikers today, guy and the gal. They just have that look about. It's like PCT hikers. They're so dialed in. They get low they, stress. But man. it was weird though because they looked dialed in, yeah. but they also looked incredibly clean for just coming off the trail, and that's not super normal. For C, for I feel like CDT or like PCT. They yeah, they he did have a pretty, pretty sweet clean. beard. Yeah. Looked like kind of trimmed almost. Okay. So. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so tomorrow the plan is we're gonna get up at uh, like you know five thirty normal time. Yeah. But since we have breakfast, you know, here we got some sausage, breakfast sandwiches, muffin, and our cold in our nitro cold brew Drink Starbucks. Coffee. That's gonna be good. Then we want to be on actually walking when it's when there's light to actually walk so by six o'clock we want to be out the door yeah. because we have to climb was it 3200 feet or something like that you said yeah 3200 feet and from where we are like right now and the the climb itself is a little less than four miles <sighs> so it's like it's a little over 800 feet per mile yeah which is that's not such a big deal except you got to do it like three times <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, so that's going to be yeah, so that's a twelve five, I think yeah. you said twelve five. That's the highest we've been other than the mountain. So yeah. we're going to be like up there at the pass. We've heard kind of, kind of conflicting stories. Trail runners are like, ah, it's great and everything, and then uh, some hiker guys we're talking to are like, oh man, it's supposed to be like horrible. You know, two steps up, one step down. I'm like, oh, please say no. You know, yeah, I can't deal with that stuff. Great, we're gonna get up there at noon when the thunderstorm. Yeah, starts. yeah, but I, I don't. I think we're gonna crush it. We've had a day off, so I think we're gonna do really good yeah, tomorrow. I'm hoping so. Yeah, and once we get up, once we get up, we still have some mileage tomorrow too to do. But it so. should be all below tree, yeah, tree line yeah, after the yeah. pass. Yeah. So once we get the pass, we can kind of like, whew, okay, we got out of town fine, and then yeah. we'll be good. So. Yeah, so that's it for today. We had Anything a, else? We we had a nice dinner. Oh, we had a super nice dinner. I tried to get some discreet little videos there. That was a really good martini. They got some good gin in Salida. It's called Woods Gin. It has like a. It's very different. It's got some anise and the I orus? think it's orris or angelica. I'm not sure. I, I don't know the difference between the two, but it was actually really nice. See if I can get Katrina to bring a bottle home for me. That would be great. So. Anyways, yeah, really nice, very relaxing. And we talked to a couple of hikers and stuff. We got, you know, mosquito eating, trying to get a ride back. So yeah, that was weird. That was very weird. Yeah. Weird times. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for Craig and Gabrielle for day 13. Day 14 is beginning of another chapter in a crazy and wild adventure. See you then. Mm -hmm.